New Yorker, I'm severely disturbed because why the f would y'all let this man come to the towns? Hey, bro. I know she about to sound and chop cheese. Bro. Oh, my God. I don't even. Hey, yo, hold on, son. Hold on. I ain't even going to let her. I ain't even going to let her continue. Not yet. I've lived in New York most of my life. I did not know that a salmon chopped cheese existed. As an adolescent, the bodega was a part of my life. I've had chopped cheese. I've had bacon, egg, and cheese. Bacon with cream cheese. But I've never had a salmon chopped cheese. This Keith Lee went to New York and found a salmon chopped cheese. Who told him to get that? What store sells that? Know where to, I don't even know where to begin with the blasphemy. I, I really don't even know where to begin. Preach. Preach. Why Preach it. Why, would, why? Preach it. Why would y'all let this man go get a chopped cheese? Who is responsible? Who? Who is to blame? Come to the front. Preach Keith, it. Baby, who Preach you spoke it. to? Who, who did you speak to? Not one of us. Who is your team? Who, who, who led you down the path of destruction? Not one of us. I need to know. Not one of us. And in all honesty, if you was coming to the towns, you could have just hit me up. Because you've been bamboozled. You've been duped. You've been finoogled. Big facts. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm sorry to tell you. Big facts. This man had a bacon, egg, and cheese. Big facts. I already know you ain't get that from Poppy. You ain't get the good bacon and you ain't have the cat on the bread. Poppy, you know oh. you went in there ill-prepared. Poppy. Time out. She got to be from the Bronx. She from the Bronx. I know he ain't get that from Habibi. He ain't get that from Habibi. Habib, Muhammad, them my corner store people. That's the bacon, egg, and cheese, though. Simon chopped cheese? Who approved that? Who stamped that? Facts. We don't even eat that. So the fact that y'all told this man to go get that? That's, that's. And the pizza was a whole other situation that, that, that severely pissed me off. Joe's pizza? He on Prince Demonic Joe's behavior. Pizza. Who is Joe? We don't. Demonic behavior. It's backwards when it comes to food. You gotta go to the most hooded. Demonic behavior. If the pizza shop don't say pizzeria, you shouldn't. Keith Lee, Keith, my boy. If the pizza, if it don't say uh 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 Mario's Pizzeria or or Donatello, like whatever Italian name they got out there with Pizzeria, they they don't say pizza. They say Pizzeria at the end. But yeah, that that. That salmon chopped cheese, bro, that shit got me so hot. I was so mad when I seen that. We're not American if you've never had a stick of butter wrapped in rhinoceros foreskin. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this delicious recipe from my childhood. It is so easy, even the kiddos can do it. First, you're going to extract your rhinoceros skin, which can be difficult. We're not American if you've never had... Hold on, bro. Where you circumcising a rhino at? Where you found a rhino to circumcise? Why you eating rhino? This one of the ones, boy. This one of them ones. <laughs> this one of them ones, y'all. It's one of them ones. The way he grabbed that chair. <laughs>
I need more context. Can somebody please tell me what happened? Because this video popped up on my feed before. I just never realized that this white man threw her ass to the ground like that. All I can hear her saying is, can I have my stuff? Can y'all give me my stuff? My thing is, why did they not give her her stuff? It seems as though she would have left if they ever given her her stuff. I need some context. What happened? Please. It really bothered me to see this white man throw her on the floor. I'm not going to lie to you because the black dude didn't even go that hard. The black dude didn't even go that hard. Think about it now. She smacked the black dude in the face. Flush. I ain't, I ain't trying to create no civil rights movement. I ain't trying to create no, you know, I ain't, but that bothered me. Bro, what's... Whole video is nasty work. <laughs> that whole video is nasty work. I'm happy that the gym I go to is nothing but like old people. You feel me? It's it's a little hole. I ain't gonna say it's a hole in the wall type of situation, but it's not. The energy is a little bit different than how it was at LA Fitness when I used to go to LA Fitness. I had to stop going to LA Fitness because LA Fitness was typical. It's a club. It's a fashion show. You feel what I'm saying? That's what LA Fitness was to me. And I'm I'm happy I got rid of my membership. I do miss the basketball court, but I'm I like my little my little mom and pop gym that I go to right now with all the geriatrics. You feel me? I walk in there, smell like Bengay and Preparation Age. I'm I'm happy with that. I'm cool with that. 